Hey everybody, this week we're going to look at my new guitar. It is a Fender Player Series Mustang Bass. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, as always, I want you to subscribe down below and also hit that bell icon to get my latest notifications. So this week we are looking at my new guitar. It's a bass guitar and it is the Fender Player Series Mustang Bass. Uh, this is my first bass guitar. It was a gift from my wife uh, last Christmas. I've been wanting to do a video about it and I think now is the time. What is this guitar? Well, I've said a few times, it's a Player Series Mustang Bass, but it's also a CME exclusive. Uh, what makes this exclusive is two items and two items that I really like. Uh, one is the body color. This is a Lake Placid Blue body, not in the standard Player Series spectrum or color palette. And also a huge hit for me when I received this was the maple fretboard. I find I'm gravitating more to maple fretboards lately than the Pau Ferro or Rosewood. And it was really hard to find a Mustang base with a maple fretboard. I believe only two places had them that I could see. Sweetwater had a buttercream body with a maple fretboard. And then CME had this Lake Placid blue body as well as a shell pink body with a maple fretboard. Now this being my first bass guitar, there was one thing that I definitely liked about the Mustang basses, and that is the short scale. So this is a shorter scale, it is a 30 inch scale, um, so a little bit smaller than what you would see from your standard precision and jazz bass instruments, and something that I thought would work really well for me coming from guitar. A little bit more comfortable to play, could sit and play on the couch, and I've, I'm liking it so far and no complaints. Another big hit for me on this one is the PJ pickup configuration, uh, precision and jazz bass pickups. Uh, you know, you can see some Mustangs that just have the precision. Um, I like having the PJ. I think it obviously provides more tonal variations and it's better to probably have two pickups than one pickup. So after having this guitar for about two or three months, I decided there was a few changes I wanted to make. The modifications were really around the pickup configuration. Now, if you're not aware, a PJ pickup configuration has one inherent flaw, and that is that the precision bass and the jazz bass have different output levels. And the original configuration for this guitar was one master volume, one master tone, and then a pickup switch to switch between your precision, your jazz, or to find a 50-50 split. The issue with that configuration is when I'm in the middle, if one of my outputs is outputting higher than the other, then I'm not really getting a true 50-50 split. It also means that when I'm switching from one pickup to another pickup, solo, then I'm going to get a, a huge volume drop or volume gain. To remedy this, I did two things. One, I had to move the input jack that sat here to the side of the guitar. And I'll try to bring that in for a little bit of a close-up. And then the second thing was to add a volume knob here so I could have two volumes, one for both pickups. In this configuration, I now have a master tone, a volume for my jazz, and a volume for my precision pickup. Now, when I did this, I also had to complete some routing in this channel to get that third potentiometer where the input jack was. So I had to be very careful in doing this and this drilling here for the input jack. As you can see, that football plate is about the width of the guitar, so I had to be very precise in centering it. It's a hair off center, but I think I did a great job. I also had to route out here under the plate to get that third potentiometer in where the input jack was, so I also had to be very careful there to not chip the paint on the top of the guitar. A few odds and ends that I also completed on this while I was modifying it. One is a simple one of replacing the strap buttons for strap locks. Second would be changing the pick guard out. So I had that hole from the switch here. I ordered a new pick guard from pickguards.com. This one is a three ply in white, black, white. It did come with a stock mint green one though that also looked killer with the Lake Placid blue. And then finally, something I read online that I'm not sure if I'll keep in or not, I'm playing around with, and that was adding treble bleed circuits to both of the volume pots. So now that you know how I've configured my Mustang bass, 
I'm going to give you a quick demo, take you through the different pickups. I'm playing through my LT25 Rumble bass amplifier. Uh, this is a just generic Rumble bass with some digital modeling on it. No worries though, I'm going to keep it studio clean. I hope you enjoy it. Again, I'm new to bass, so I probably need some work, but let's have a listen. Hope you enjoyed that demo of my Fender Player Series Mustang bass. Look forward to hearing your comments on my modifications, whether you like them, whether you don't. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.